Hey everyone, this is day number 19 of the Advent of Cyber 2023. We're going to be talking about memory forensics, so let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right, folks, here we are. I actually did complete this room today. I was having some problems with uh, my mic and everything, so I just figured I'd just do it, but I'm doing the walkthrough. So the memory forensics, obviously, this was a fun room, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. The learning objectives here is understanding what memory forensics is and how to use it in a digital forensics investigation, right? Understand what volatile data and memory dumps are. Learn how uh, learn about the voluntary and how it can be used in you know analyzing a memory dump and then learn about the profiles right so what is memory forensics you can learn all about that and what is uh volatile data in computer forensics the data refers to the information that's temporarily stored into a computer's memory like the ram what is a memory dump you can read all about that and benefits of memory forensics as we as we know it's super critical especially in if you're trying to extract information that was trying to be deleted etc right so what are your processes you can check out the processes here and this is the way you connect to the room if you need to get the username password ubuntu voluntary all right so we're going to go through these commands i have it open right here so let me make this a little larger for you guys. We'll go through every single command that was that we uh, that we ran, right? Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so let's go let's go through these. So the first one is the help command, right? We can check that out right here. We can see, okay, you know what it's all about, what the options that we have. I want to go through this pretty quickly because I, like I said, I just went through it, so. So then if you do dash dash info, you can see everything that was listed, right? And what you noticed is there no, there's no Linux operating systems, right? So only Vista, Windows, etc. And right here. So for the Linux operating systems, we have they manually created some devices. So you can go to evidence and you can extract this by running this copy Ubuntu zip to your you know local blah 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 and then you can grep it out using the grep command and you'll get the information that's that's needed right as we come down here we can mem uh, analyze the memory with this command here once we run that command here let's go back here let's see if i can uh let's see this is copying analyzing it uh, let's keep going down. This is all the Linux stuff now since we loaded that. Let's go down. All right, so right here is when you can see the, the, the Linux mem profile. And you can see right here we have some usernames, passwords, everything that we need for that forensics investigation, right? So the next command here, we have another profile that, but now we're gonna list the processes, right? PS list. So we can see the list of processes here, the PID, the parent IDs, etc. And you can see all this information here that's gonna be needed going forward, right? So you just keep coming down, you can see some information here. And then what we needed to do is, let, let, let's come back to the questions here. So as we come down here, we can look at the plugins. And, you know, Linux, Bash, we can look at that. And you can see the PID, the same kind of information that we just looked at on the other screen. So number one, two, and three, you can see like the MySQL username. Obviously, the password is, is in, in the list. And then we can come, keep coming down. We can see the running processes with the Linux PS list. And we, we've seen that. Right, we've seen that here, right above here. So we just ran this, let's come up a little bit, whoop, too far. All right, so right here, the Linux PS list, and you can see that here. All right, it's just pretty much following the steps. It's pretty straightforward. And as we come down here, we can process extraction. We can extract the processes. We made a directory, this MKDIR extracted. And then we can run this next command here. So if we read 
based on the file history running process finding we now need to find and, and extract the minor and MySQL binaries using the following commands. So right here is the first command, but the PID is for the minor, right? And the second one here is 10291. And let's come back here and we can see that 10291 and then the minor is 10280, all right? So just keep that in mind for the answers going forward. So once that's created, we run those two commands, we get what we need. And then we can see the, if we do it now, we can come down here, extracted. Now we do an LS right here, and we can see the two files that we extracted. Okay, before we get down any further, now we can look at the MD5 sum, the hash, then extracted for the minor and the MySQL, All right? And then last thing, I think this is the last thing, the file extraction. So then we can extract the file. Let's come back down here. Once we run it, we're grepping any cron jobs. So anything that says cron, we can see all that information here, right? And then we can do an LS here. Let's go back here before we do that. All right, so now we are extracting the output to an ELFI uh, file. And then we ls, then we have this elfi file, and then we cat that, and then we can see the process that was placed in there, as you see right here, right? So now let's go to the questions. Super, super simple, right? The What is the exposed password? We know that was, if we come all the way back up here, let's come up or down, sorry. Where was it? Uh, let's come down a little bit more right here, whoops, too far. So right here was the password that was exposed, right, in the running config or in the running uh, job. And then what is the PID for the minor? It's 10280, we just went over that. What is the F MD5 hash of the minor? Right here, we just saw that. And then for the MySQL process. And then for here, for this next question here, we have to go out to CyberChef so let's go ahead, we can grep this. So you can use strings, extracted minor, dot, uh, that's gonna be 10280 here, dot zero X, what is that, 400,000, and pipe grep HTTP, and then you're gonna get this, you're gonna get, you're gonna get something, let's go out to, uh, let's go back, let's go out to CyberChef. All right, so let's go out to CyberChef and I'll show you guys. And then we can, because first we have to see the defrag. So let's go ahead and do defrag, okay. And let's go ahead and put output. Uh, let's go ahead and copy this, see if we can, why can't we paste this? But, what, do you, what you should see, let's see if I can, everything? Uh, I wonder if we can do, 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 do. All right, so it was something like, let, all right, let's just go see it. Let's just do this. Strings, copy this. I'll show you guys, let's just do it. Oops, crap. All right, so let's go ahead and come back here again. Let's copy this. And let's paste this here. And in the PID here, let's go ahead and delete this. And then we have to put 10280, okay? And let's copy this. And then let's go ahead and paste it here. Let's come back to here and hit enter here. And right here, you can see, let's make this a little bigger. Right here, you have HTTP colon slash less McGritty secret C2 dot hack the box. Oh, try hack me. Sorry. I'm so tired. All right. So let's copy this. Let's go ahead and paste this here. And you can see it right here, right? So that's the answer for this one. And now after reading the ELFI file, 
you know, we can see the MySQL. So let's come back up here. And then you can see that right here, var temp system Python. And we can see that right here. All right, so that concludes this video. Sorry for the quick uh, demonstration, but I already did it. And that was a quick rundown of the walkthrough for day number 19. Thank you so much for viewing and I'll see you in the next one.